What if I told you that you're exporting your photos from Lightroom to Luminar AI the wrong way? There is a way that you can do it faster and with better quality results. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you in this short video. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer just like you, and let me show you what I'm talking about. I got this tip from Rich Harrington, and he was telling a group of us that you're exporting your photos from Lightroom the wrong way. Let me show you what I mean. If we come in here, I've got a photograph. It is a Nikon RAW file. You can see over here where it says .NEF. That's a Nikon RAW file. That is the best quality image that we're going to find. So what do most people do? And with that, myself included. You come over here to Photo. You go to Edit In. And then you choose your tool. So in this case, I'll say Luminar AI. If I do this, Lightroom is going to build a TIFF file. So that's going to take time. And then it's going to take that TIFF, load it up into Luminar AI. And the result is I'm not working with the raw file. I'm working with a lower quality, basically an inferior file with a TIFF. So what we want to do is we want to see if we can get the raw file from Lightroom into Luminar AI. To do that, it's pretty simple. You come over here to File, Export with Preset. And if you notice, I've got a few different presets over here. This one for Luminar AI. Excuse me. This one is for Luminar AI. And you can see we've got options. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. You don't want that one because that's going to give you another TIFF file. Open source file. If we do this, then we're getting the raw file. We're getting the highest quality file that we can get as the raw file inside of Luminar AI, which is exactly what I want. I don't want to do my edits and stuff in Lightroom. I want to go ahead and do all of my work in Luminar AI with the raw file. And I manage my raw files in Lightroom. So that is the best way to get there. It's also the fastest way because it doesn't have to create a new file. All it does is open the existing raw file. And now we have our raw file inside of Luminar AI. And that is it. Just a quick short tip today. Thank you to Rich Harrington for pointing this out. I feel a little silly that I didn't look to find this on my own, but I wanted to share it with everybody here. If you like this, please go ahead and click the like button. That lets YouTube know that we're doing something right. And hopefully this is something right. And thanks so much. We'll see you again in the next video.